another month, more books. And these ones are all that I'm actually really, really excited for. They've been calling my name and I just wanna get to them. But when, that is always the question. Hello lovely book dragons and welcome back to another video or welcome if you're new here. My name is Joanna and I love to talk about books, specifically fantasy books. In today's video we're going to be talking about the books that I acquired in the month of May. Some of these were gifts, some I got myself, but yeah, let's just talk about them. There aren't too many, I was, I was good, but yeah, I did get a few and I wanted to share them with you as always. The first book I have here is a book that I just have the dust jacket here because the physical book is somewhere else in the house. Uh, I haven't started it, I had all intent of starting it the day I got it, but I didn't and that is The Shadow of the Gods by John Gwynn. This is one of my most anticipated releases of the year and I haven't read it yet. I even said to my husband when we went and picked it up at the pack up that uh, I was gonna drop everything I was doing and read this and then I didn't. I don't know why, it's mainly because probably I don't have an audiobook and I'm a very slow reader so I tend to be a little bit discouraged when I have to read something without an audiobook, which is bad. I gotta stop that. But yes, I'm super excited for this one. I mean, look at this cover with this dragon. It's just amazing. This is John Gwynn's new book uh, set in a Viking world. I don't really know much about it because that's how I like to go into my books. So I leave every book I talk about in the description of the video if you want to check it out. Um, I just know this is a Viking inspired story by one of my all time favorite authors, John Gwynn. Gotta read it. Next up, I have A Breach of Peace by Daniel Green. I actually pre-ordered this when he announced it and it took forever to get to me. This arrived in the middle of the month of May and I it came out at the end of March. So it took a while to get to me, but yeah, I am really excited. It's like so thin and it's also floppy and it's a buttery cover and I really like this cover and the colors on it. So this is uh, Daniel Green, um, who is a YouTuber if you didn't know, I'm sure you know about Daniel Green, um, but yeah, he wrote a novella and this is it. And this is actually the first in a trilogy of novellas that comes before his main trilogy, if I'm not mistaken. Point is, I just wanted to support him. I wanted to see what he comes out with and read it. And here it is. Next up are three books that I just, I don't know, they were just calling my name for the longest time. And they're all like black covers. So they, they really look nice together. But yeah, so here are the books. Um, these ones I wanna prioritize sooner rather than later just because of how much I've been wanting to read them. The first one is Mrs. Death, Mrs. Death by Selena Godden. This one I saw on Kayla over at Books and Lala's channel and it's weird because her and I don't have similar reading tastes at all. I usually watch her stuff because I really like her as a content creator. I love the I like the content that she puts out. I like her as a person from what we see online, um, but I don't have similar reading tastes to her. And when she was reading this in one of her videos, which I will, Try to remember and link that down below. Um, it really, really spoke to me. Like the, the the passages she was reading, the way she was talking about this book, it really made me want to read it. And I thought it was just so pretty. And it was on sale on my Amazon for the hardcover. It was just calling my name, and I picked it up. And I'm excited to get to it. Hopefully, rather soon. And yeah, I I don't like I said. I think it's about death and uh, a wolf and a rabbit and I don't I really don't know what it's about from her video I gathered there are some philosophical thoughts about death and humans and how we treat each other and the planet and that's just the kind of stuff I like so excited to read this definitely next up is a book that I didn't think I was gonna read because I don't know I sometimes it's very hit or miss for me to read books that are considered quirky or different or weird and this book had been everywhere and I didn't think I was gonna pick it up and then I saw so many people talk about it and I just wanted to read it you know like I want to read this right now and that is Piranesi by Susanna Clark it is short <laughs> so um, that's a win it if, if it were Jonathan Strange or Mr. Norrell I probably wouldn't have picked it up but this one is pretty short it has a stunning cover and I'm actually going to be buddy reading this one in June so I'm gonna get to it very soon here but yeah this one I also know nothing about except that there's something about a house with ocean inside it sounds really weird which has, has me a little bit worried but also it sounds like I'm gonna love this so super excited about this one and like I said it was calling my name oh it's blurred by Madeline Miller I think I'm gonna like this I think I'm gonna like this and then the third book in this stack of these were just calling my name is These Violent Delights by Chloe Gong this book has been calling my name since it came out this is a Romeo and Juliet retelling in Shanghai 1926 20, 1926 the year is 1926 and Shanghai hums to the tune of debauchery. And it's like, it reminds me of if Jade City met Romeo and Juliet, apparently. And it's YA, I think it's YA. So yeah, I don't know. It sounds like something I would really like. And I've heard very mixed things about this book, but it is a book that ever since it came out, it really appealed to me and it, I really wanted to read it. So I thought, you know what? I'm gonna get it and I'm gonna read it and I'm gonna find out for myself. And it's a duology, so worst case, 
there's just one more book after this. If I really don't like it, I don't have to read it. And if I think it's just okay, I will read that. And it's not a huge commitment, but I really do love this cover as well. Look at it. So cool and the plush just sounds cool and I'm excited to get to this hopefully soon like I said. And the final three books in this haul are not books that I got myself but one I wanted to give away and two for gifts. So let's talk about the one I wanted to give away and that is Flame Fault by Rosaria Munda. This book I won uh, from a giveaway that Elliot Brooks was hosting and I was I just entered because I thought oh I would really like to get a beautiful hardcover copy of Flame Fault but I... I never enter giveaways because I just never win and it was to the point that I even put this in my basket at some point and I almost purchased it and then I was like yeah no and I had completely forgotten that I entered the giveaway and then I took it out of my basket because I bought these Violent Delights instead and then a few days later I got the message saying hey you won the giveaway I was like what I forgot I entered it and I won I won it was so exciting and so here's Slimefall this is the sequel to Fireborn which is like an Anastasia retelling with dragons if I'm not mistaken I may be completely wrong about that like I said description if you want synopsis but yeah this is the sequel and i'm gonna be reading fireborn in june so hopefully i will get to this one also very soon i'm so excited i hear this one is even better than the first one and so many people have loved the first one so i'm very excited i mean dragons guys i love dragons clearly and the final two books in this haul were gifts from my wonderful best friend here on booktube sophia over at sophia's thoughts so thank you so so much for sending these to me and the first book she got me is game changer by neil schusterman this one is a sci-fi parallel universe Book, if I'm not mistaken, which is a concept that I've been reading about very much recently. I mean, I read uh, Space Between Worlds, which I DNF'd in the month of May, spoiler alert for my May wrap up. I'm going to be reading in June Dark Matter, and then I have this one, which I will hopefully get to in the summer because it covers very summery for, for some reason. So I like the concept of parallel universes or slash multiverses, but yeah, I don't know. I am excited to get to this. I hope I will really enjoy it. It's no sure someone I've liked his stuff, his stuff before. And I think Sophia read it and really enjoyed it. And so I put it on my wish list and she got it for me. So thank you so much. And the final book that she got me is The Unbroken by C.L. Clark. This is a debut novel, if I'm not mistaken, by C.L. Clark that came out this year, earlier this year. This is a book that's been on my radar even before it came out. It was really on my anticipated releases. The synopsis sounded fun. Everything sounded good about this one. And I put it on my wish list and she got it for me. So thank you so, so much. I'm so excited for this one and I love this cover as well oh it's so cool I just really like this this is um yeah there's a debut it is an unmissable epic fantasy debut of uprising espionage and empire so this just sounds so fun I am so excited to get to this uh thank you so much Sophia for gifting this to me so like I said pretty short and sweet I didn't get that many books but all of these books are books that I'm super excited to read I just hope to get to them sooner rather than later that's always the goal with these books isn't it but you never know so those are the books that I acquired in the month of May let me know down below if you've read any of them and if so which ones and what you thought of them and yeah that is going to be it for me today thank you guys so so much for watching and until next time happy reading bye